Oh, here it is. Here's so why'd you say on the podcast you let me borrow $60,000? Bro, because it's an open environment. <laughs> you made me look crazy! <laughs> I made you look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> shoes for 45 minutes and I feel like such a mess. They're my blue fuzzy ones I really wanted to wear them. Boom. They go with nothing but I have blue in my dress today so I was like oh, this is the time to wear them and I couldn't find them and I went down to my cars and I went up and, oh my god I'm like I'm such a mess. I hear ya. Well good news is it's early. <laughs> you look great shaved. You should shave. Katie. I'm in your car. I'm so nice there. Down so everyone knows. <laughs> I am standing on solid ground and he is on a pedestal hey, right now. You better watch out showing my feet. There might be some people with a feet a foot fetish. You guys have shower. exact feet. Let me tell you something. If I had to guess whose feet those <laughs> What's the deal on his hair? You can't show his hair until when? Tomorrow. Over here. What do you think of this outfit? Scott's rock. And I sat down and I was like, oh you know. He has the other table. Give you a shovel. I've been on Virgin. <laughs> I know you're a Gemini. I know you're a Taurus because you got a high opinion of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm friends with some of them. This is it. He said he's like a little kid. Like a little kid. He is a little kid. David, you can't go for a run on the tarmac. <laughs> Can I go for a run on the tarmac? David, you've been walking around Coachella <laughs> all day. You got your thousand steps in. You got your thousand steps in. You can walk around off. David, don't don't screw around. I'm gonna see when he gets here. He's actually. He's gonna get decapitated. Damn. There it is. You're probably wondering how we got here. But let me tell you. And then it's supposed to go back all the way to how do we get here? Um, yeah, I was at Coachella. I was high as fuck. And I was very late to this uh, private jet chartered for the Dobricks that I was uh, hitching a ride on. Well, I guess technically it was for me and the Dobricks by the Shorty Award ceremony. You said he's like a little kid? I as giraffe He's pussy, my guy. Damn. How was That's everyone's true. Coachella? Good? Six. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Wow. It was really good. I mean, Look at my go, eyes! <laughs> mine was really good because I didn't go. I feel that. David, you see Matt's vlogging? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> That's so cool. I can't believe he's vlogging with that. <laughs> you know where that was? Juice of popcorn down there? Yeah, but I don't know where it went. I'll go for it. <laughs> I was like, it's a lot. It's a cave down there. Yeah. Yeah, it's short. Wow. Can he run for governor of like North Carolina? Four hours or seven minutes? I know. It's, it is it remarkably... Dude, I was so scared. I just remember... I just remember being so scared. I'm like, I'm with these fucking people that I don't know. I'm high as fuck. I hope none of them figure it out. I'm late. I'm late. Like, I, I literally kept the plane uh, landed for a while because, like, they had to wait for me for, like, 15 minutes. Really short. What? I've been on Virgin in under five from L.A., and we're in Palm Springs already, so that's why. Todd, do you ever get mad? Hmm? Do you ever get mad? <laughs> yeah. Every time I see Todd, he just looks so chill. Like, you're so chill. Every time I see you, you literally just, like, you have no care in the world. It depends if turns over on <laughs> All right. Let's go. You ready? No, I gotta get my phone on. So Where, are cold. Where are we going? I used to live here, you know. Were you lonely? Oh my god, I was so scared and so lonely. Those were garbage people. Why you hang out with them? No, some of them are very cool, actually. I, I like Todd, he's the man. And uh Matt, who's on the other side of the him, he he's cool too. He's the man. What were you on, bro? Uh just uh Portobello. I was on that. I was on that Portobello, baby. I don't really know Jason or David Dobrik that well. I mean, I've been around them, but... Ah, ha, ha, Portobello is a mushroom, and he means he took mushrooms? Or maybe because it's illegal. Why did you take mushrooms before this? First of all, I ate mushrooms, Portobello, legal ones. Um, and secondly, why... Because I was at Coachella. This is this is flying from Coachella to, to New York. 
I literally popped out of a rave. I think it was like Neon Carnival that night. It was like Neon Carnival that I went to for a couple hours because I was like, I refuse not to go to Neon Carnival. It's the best night of, uh, of Coachella. It's the best night party. It's like better than Coachella. Damn, bro, you rich as fuck. I mean, all of it was free, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Mushrooms Music Festival in a private jet, a real man of the people. Yeah. All for fucking free too, bitch. Think about it that way. That makes it even worse. If I had paid for it, maybe it's like, oh, Hassan paid for it with his hard-earned money that he worked uh, toiling the land, doing back-breaking labor. No, they literally gave it to me for free. Every single part of it. Also, I would never in a million years fucking pay for some shitty thing like Coachella if that was the case. No, I'm sorry. I got actually paid to go to Coachella. If you are a, uh, a Destiny dick rider in here uh, waiting for an opportunity, you can suck my cock, okay? Not only did I go to Coachella, I got fucking paid to go to Coachella. Suck my cock, baby. There you go. I'm playing Who Asked featuring Nobody Did. That's funny. I like that. Isn't the Neon Carnival for A-listers? It's thrown by uh, promotion companies. So yes, they. it's like the Coachella uh, after party where like everyone that is at Coachella goes to and it's supposed to be like really fun. I mean, I had a lot of fun when I went. It, it was a fun time, even though, like I said, I had to end early and run out. Coachella not fun. Is it trash? Depends. I mean... No one goes to Coachella for the music, I don't think. People complaining about you taking the private jet is like me having my family sneak into a five-star hotel from our two-star hotel. It's fucking free if we pull it off. Why are people complaining, lol? Because they're fucking dumb, dude. Like, they're acting like I... Well, first of all, I literally had to take that flight. I had no other way of getting to the fucking Shorty Awards. Okay? And secondly, even if I didn't have to, even if I had another way of getting to New York, in a timely manner from Coachella. Why the fuck wouldn't I take the private jet? It's free, motherfucker. Are you insane? Of course, if I have an opportunity to get on a private jet, I'm gonna get on the fucking private jet. Suck my entire cock. What if it's Epstein's jet? Then I'm not gonna get on the private jet because that's Jeffrey Epstein's private jet and I don't wanna be the one who's doing the cock sucking, okay? Honestly, David Dobrik, I'm surprised that people haven't uh, attacked me for even watching that clip. Like, I have fully grown, developed, adult brain friends that are in their fucking 30s who religiously consume this content. Like, straight up. And got, like, very excited when I appeared in one of their vlogs. No jet fuel is free and a private jet emits 20 times more carbon dioxide per passenger mile than a commercial airliner. Okay. I didn't ask for it, though. I didn't hire it. I didn't charter it, idiot. Without me, the jet was still going to take off and go. With me, the jet still goes, takes off, but I'm in it. Okay? Stop! Ah, oh, I hate the left. I am now a reactionary. Going forward, just treat me like I am a reactionary, okay? There you go. I'm a lib. I'm a fucking lib. Worse. It's just, I'm a lib. Oh, my head hurts so much.